everyone in YouTube world. I thought I would do one more video with the Molly backdrop while I still had my Dr. Day's display um, on <laughs> Dr. Day's set on display. I said that backwards. My apologies. Um, anyway, uh, I wanted to get one more video in and for those of you who might be familiar with the Our Generation line, there is a impaired vision doll and um, she has a, a dog a helper dog and everything and she even has a little walking cane um, for people who are vision impaired and so I'm not really sure what kind of backstory I'll probably give this doll but I did want to get her right away from my collection because she is the, and I'll back up a little bit, because the dog is really part of uh, this doll set. And this set caught my attention right away because for me to be a doll collector, I always want to make sure that I have a collection that expresses the way I see the world. And I do see the world in many colors, and I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to see um, where there are lots of other people who are visually impaired who cannot um, see certain colors. Maybe they even might be colorblind. Um, some people suffer from uh, glaucoma as they get older in age. So that part of that lifestyle goes away as some people get older. And I did want to acknowledge that our generation did create a doll that uh, was suffering from impaired vision. And so again, I don't have a backstory for her. She doesn't come with a book, but her name is Marlo. She does come with a name and she comes with an outfit as well as a service dog. So um, some people who have done the review do the service dog first. But because I really, really like um, the fact that I'm a doll collector, I will focus on the doll first. Now, I did gift Marlo a couple of things because I really, really wanted her to stand out. And I, even though I wanted to keep her intact, I still wanted to give her some hair bows. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that they were red. So the only red hair bows I had at the time to put into her hair were the Valentine's, Happy Valentine's Day hair bows. And I did that because if you guys look at her glasses, her glasses have little hearts, little hearts right there um, in the corners. You can probably see it better um, right on this side that that's a heart. So I really like that. And so I feel like if I really wanted to display this doll um, at a certain point in time during the year, I would probably take her out for my Valentine's Day scene. And then um, since I don't really play with the dolls that I collect, I usually just showcase them. I would probably put her away in storage because she is such a special doll to me. I do take my dolls out of the box, but again, I again usually set them up. I don't really uh, interact with them like that. So anyway, this is how she looks. This is her stock photo. So right off the bat, you guys have probably already noticed that her shoes, she has like little brown boots. And my doll is missing her brown boots. So here's the story. Even though I'm a doll collector, I still live in a house um, and I still have a family. And so certain family members, I won't name any names, like to interact with the dolls and sometimes things disappear. And I have one culprit that I think has the shoes. <laughs> I think I know who the culprit is that has um, Marlowe's sh meat shoes. So being the doll collector that I am, the savvy one, I ended up getting an extra pair of our generation shoes for an extra our generation doll. And so I was, I went ahead and put it on Marlo. So uh, unlike other people's reviews, with Marlo's dress, which will remain on her at all times, 
um, because I did buy her just for the collection. Um, her dress, I don't have a problem with the lines. A lot of people have said that they, their lines are kind of wonky on this uh, jersey-like uh, cotton-esque dress. It feels kind of like jersey material and it also feels like cotton. But um, I don't have a problem with it. I like the sweater, but again, the sweater feels like it's on the thin side. So I don't mind that she has a sweater because we're getting ready to go into fall. And plus I like the fact that I can tuck her service dog identification card away. So because she doesn't have a pocket, um, it's nice to be able, if I can focus on that, it's nice to be able to have a place for the service dog identification tag. So his name is Toby. And if I take off her glasses, you can see her beautiful brown eyes. And since she's getting an examination, the doctor's gonna have to have a chance to check her eyes. And for some of you who are looking at the eye chart, the reason I brought out the eye chart um, was even though she is visually impaired, um, I did see a movie where I think it was Val Kilmer who was blind within the movie. In the movie, he was blind. He was playing a character who could not see. And he was pronounced legally blind, I believe. He ended up falling in love and wanting to, I think his love interest um, encouraged him to get an eye operation where I guess his doctor saw that he was getting a little bit of his sight back or he was regaining some of his sight. Again, I don't really, I haven't watched the movie for years. So it's been a while. But either way, whether he was born legally blind or he became legally blind, he started seeing little things, um, stuff started becoming clearer to him. And he went to a surgeon. The surgeon operated on his eyes. They, they tried to give him like little eye tests and tried to see if he could read the eye chart. And he could for a little bit, but then I think he regressed and uh, the operation didn't take. And so he remained legally blind. So um, I don't know. You guys might want to check that movie out. I think it's PG. But again, if you're a child, make sure your parents know exactly what you're watching. But um, if you guys can check out that movie, go ahead and check it out. It stars Val Kilmer. So nowadays, all you have to do is just Google it. And I'm sure you'll be able to pull it up. Um, I think it also stars Mira, Mira Servino. But anyway, he was legally blind in the movie. So that's why I have this little setup where she might be going into surgery. Maybe. We, we'll see. But anyway, this is how she looks without her glasses. So she's got beautiful brown eyes. Um, and this is how she looks with her hair right out of the box. I haven't combed it or styled it. Someone said it's like a grayish blonde or a platinum blonde. I'll go with platinum blonde. I think she looks more like a platinum blonde than a grayish blonde. Um, some people even go gray because of trauma. So if Obviously, for this doll to be visually impaired, her backstory could be that she went through some kind of trauma uh, that impaired her eyes. And um, that's why she also has the service dog. Maybe um, she has the, the walking stick and the service dog uh, for different reasons. You know, maybe they're not all to do with her not being able to see. So anyway, uh, because people do have service dogs for, for trauma as well. So uh, these service dogs are really great. And they help with all kinds of impairments. And I like that there's the handle right here. Uh, the one thing I don't like is that the red rubbed off on the plastic here. You can't really see it on camera, but you can see it off camera where it rubbed off. So be careful of staining. 
Um, but I, that's not a reason for me to exchange or return this doll uh, or the service dog that comes with the doll because I, I like the set altogether. I think the service dog is cute. And so that was the main reason I bought this set was because I did, again, want um, a doll who was considered blind. And um, it comes with all kinds of things. I saved this so that I would be able to archive her correctly uh, if anyone were to ask about her and uh, why she needed the glasses or what she came with or whatever. So let me go ahead and um, now that you guys see how the setup is, um, that she is getting an examination. Uh, again, Molly is the doctor's assistant. Megan is her primary pediatrician. And then her eye surgeon is uh, Surgeon Sierra. So Surgeon, surgeon Sierra didn't really take a day off after all. And again, I'm using the Molly backdrop. So again, um, even though President Roosevelt is the Caucasian man in the photo here, I'm pretending that he is just an average Caucasian man who basically endowed this hospital room or this hospital wing with, uh, what do you say, um, $40,000? <laughs> So usually people who donate a lot uh, to hospitals or universities or whatever, they usually get their photo put up. So I'm just going to assume that this guy happens to look like President Roosevelt. So, uh, but he's just a donor who ended up giving a lot of money to uh, Megan's research and her uh, operating hospital for Sierra. So that way they can always utilize this wing in the hospital for eye surgery. Uh, and uh, also some people have LASIK, but people who have LASIK uh, don't really need a walking cane and they don't need a service dog. So whatever backstory you want to give Marlo the doll, um, I'm sure it will be just really fascinating. But for me, um, Marlo... In my story, and in my collection, she is legally blind or vision impaired. And um, maybe one day, Dr. or Surgeon Sierra will be able to correct her vision. But uh, for now, she is still not really able to see the chart very well, which means that she will still have to utilize her service dog, Toby. And um, she's doing really well with Toby. Toby's very friendly and he's such a good dog. So let's see how she stands. So Miss Marlowe stands pretty well. So, and she even looks good in her sneakers. And again, these are our generation sneakers. I didn't take out the barrette that she comes with. So that uh, permanently stays in her hair at all times. Again, I haven't brushed her hair out. I'm just going to let it fall out of the style that it came in. Um, you can see the indentation from the elastics, but they're still going to be in pigtails. So um, I really love this doll, guys. I'm so in love with this doll. I'm really glad that I added her to my collection. If you wanted to add her to any storyline that you may want to have, with your dolls within your doll collection. I really think she would enhance any kind of storyline that you guys had or any kind of story plot. I plan on utilizing her a lot um, around Valentine's Day for like a class party scene because even in my family, um, a lot of the kids go to school and have and share their classrooms with children who uh, do suffer from being visually impaired, um, as well as hearing impaired um, and other special needs that certain children may have, as well as adults. But in this case, it's mostly um, the kids in my family that usually have these parties and uh, class uh, recreation days like field day where it's all inclusive. So I wanted my doll collection to truly be all inclusive. 
And for me to say that I'm really about diversity, I really wanted to make sure that I added a doll like Marlo to my collection. And so she has the lightest hair possible <laughs> of any doll in my collection. And I'll, I'll actually prove that because I think the other doll that has light hair is Kit. So let me go and get Kit real quick. Okay, so here she is compared to uh, Kit Kittridge, who is an American Girl doll. And uh, Kit has this little Parisian sweater on, even though she's doing some uh, Cincinnati reporting, I guess. But uh, you can tell that this type of blonde hair is very different from uh, Kit's blonde hair. Like this is like a very platinum light color blonde compared to Kit's blonde hair. And so um, I just wanted to take out Kit so you guys could see a different shade of blonde uh, that these two dolls have and offer. But um, that's the review of Marlo. She is such a sweet, 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 pretty, pretty, pretty doll. And I'll try to get her from different angles so that way you guys can really see how she stands up to um, some of the uh, American Girl dolls, including Molly back there. I haven't forgotten about little Molly. And uh, Kit has a lot of flyaways too, so... A lot of people will talk about the R Generation dolls and how their hair quality uh, isn't as great as American Girl, but American Girl is a little bit controversial nowadays because uh, they are cutting corners with quality, I've noticed. So some of the dolls in my collection have thinning wigs and some of them don't. So it really depends on when the doll was made. That really kind of depends on or that tells you what kind of quality doll you might have. You might even have some dolls that are facing, their eyes are facing down. And for our generation, you don't have that problem. So um, anyway, I'm still utilizing Molly's backdrop. So even though it says buy war bonds, um, I'm going to associate that with the war that's going on nowadays uh, overseas. So again, um, history sometimes can be cyclical. So if some of you really don't want to use Molly's Backdrop for your doctor office scenes, that's perfectly fine with me. But uh, for me, I'm going to utilize everything in my collection to make my dog collection stand out and to make play value that much better in my home. So anyway, Marlo is part of my collection now. I really love her, guys. If you see her on the Our Generation website, she is a good deal uh, because she is not as expensive as the American Girl 18-inch dolls, but you still get a very special, special doll who um, represents someone uh, or some people in our community who do need to have a little bit of representation. And so representation is always good in my book. All right, guys. Um, again, that's the review of Marlo. I'm going to always keep her in her meat outfit. Um, she has this color underwear. Sorry, Marlo. I'm sorry about the privacy invasion. But um, so that's what she looks like. Her outfit's great quality. If you want to add barrettes, hair accessories to her hair, that's fine. If you don't, she still has this lovely barrette that you can leave in her hair. Uh, I'm not taking my doll's hair down. So unfortunately, that's something you won't see in this review. And her dog is just adorable. And again, I'm not taking off the vest. And I wish that they did include somewhere where you could put this card. But in Marlo's case, you can always tuck it behind her sweater. And she can kind of keep her card safe like that for identification for anyone who asks. All right, guys, um, if you like the content of my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I don't get paid for endorsing any products. I'm not someone who uh, gets free products. I'm someone who buys for my collection because I'm a doll collector. And, um, and I'm still an African-American doll collector, but I diversify. So I always love adding dolls that I really enjoy to my collection. And in this case, it happens to be Marlo. And Kit, uh, she always has my heart, as well as Molly. So 
Um, and my Our Generation dolls, Sierra and Megan, they're just the best. Um, they're such great, high quality dolls for an inexpensive price. So guys, um, that's it. And I'll talk to you later.